everyone? This is Novacity5 and today I'm bringing you my Nintendo Wii U game collection in release to the release of... <laughs> that didn't make any sense. To the release of the Nintendo Switch. I'm super excited about it. We are less than two weeks away. It's right there. I'm so excited. March 3rd is gonna be awesome. So, I have a bunch of Wii U games, so it's gonna go by really quickly. But before... I'm sorry, I'm reaching over here. But before we get to my uh, physical Wii U games, I do have uh, two games I have downloaded on my Nintendo Wii U. I have New Super Mario Brothers U. Um, yeah, this I, this game's hard, but I, it's it's fine, I guess. It's hard, but I did beat it. Then we have oh, other way, wrong stick. I'm doing this reverse. Then we have the Amiibo Great Collection thing. It's backwards for me. It's gonna flip during the video, so you're seeing it perfectly fine. And then Lost Reavers, which all these games are free except for this one, because I got this game when I got Mario Kart 8. So just wanted to show you that real quick. And uh, yeah, now let's get to the physical games. A game I literally just got recently is The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Um, this game was $20, it's a Nintendo Select, as you can tell. And from so far, I really do like this game. It's my first ever Zelda game, and I got this game for, you know, give me ready for Breath of the Wild, because I didn't want to go in like knowing absolutely nothing, because I know I get stuck really easily. And so far, I'm actually doing a pretty solid job in this game. Do recommend. Then we have the disappointing Star Fox Zero collection. Yes, I do have both the games. And uh, which one should we start with first? I guess we'll start with the main one. Star Fox Zero is really short and it's a little disappointing, but it's overall, it was fun, but really short and very forgettable in my opinion. So I would recommend this game on a discount. Star Fox Guard is pretty short as well. Um, again, I'm gonna go fast because of a bunch of Wii games. And it's okay, it's, it's I, mean, I think you can only get this game for like $5 on the eShop, so. It's not that bad, it's just not really recommendable. Get Star Fox Zero discount, you don't really need this game. Next we have Lego City Undercover. This game is really good, especially a really great Lego game. And they're about to re-release this game for the Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. Not sure if I'm gonna be getting it on it since I technically already have it, but who knows, I might change my mind. From right now, I don't think I'm gonna be getting it, but although I've seen the graphics and they look really impressive. But uh, yeah, this game's really good, has a really good story, and I do recommend it. Um, just get the newer version if you don't have it already, because it's gonna be on more consoles, so it'll overall be better, but I recommend it when it, the re-release comes out in April. Then we have Super Mario 3D World. This game is great, I really love this game. At first, when, when the, it was like aired at E3, I was like, eh, whatever, it's just another 3D land for the Wii U. But then as they showed more and more, I was like, wow, this game looks really, really good. And it's an amazing 3D Mario game. I think this is my favorite Mario game right now until Odyssey, which looks even better. So, yeah, I recommend this game. The end of the Lego Movie video game. Um, this game, it's okay for a Lego game. It's still a, it's a good Lego game, but it's really rushed, if you couldn't tell. There's only like 70 gold bricks in this game because they probably had to push this game out when the movie came out but overall it's a, not bad especially a movie game usually they aren't really that good but uh this one's pretty good they have tv games behind it so i'm not surprised that this game isn't terrible then we have mario party 10 for this game was even more disappointing than star fox zero this game literally has nothing that i really like about it it's really boring even with a bunch of people i did get a bunch of people surprisingly yes i do have a couple friends and we came over and we didn't really enjoy it, have that much fun, it's really boring, it's not, not much, and it was only $50 compared to the $60, and this is a Mario title, I was like, that's saying something, I think Nintendo knew this game isn't that enjoyable, so, <laughs> yeah, I don't recommend, don't get this game, especially the Amiibos, the Amiibos are terrible in this game. Give me a Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed, I already showed you my 3DS game collection that I already do have this game for my 3DS, but there's no difference, so I'm gonna put that. This game's good though, I really do recommend it. Recommend it for PC and other consoles, because the Wii version, even though they did patch out most of the glitches, it's still a little buggy in terms of the graphics do like to not render sometimes and stuff like that, but if you get the Wii version, I think you'll be satisfied with it since they patched most of it, and you can complete the game now. <laughs> so yeah, at first when you got this game, it was impossible to complete it, that's how bad it was. But overall, I do recommend this game, just again, PC is the best way to go for this game. Then we have the very disappointing, in my opinion, Sonic Lost World. I know some people do like this game, and you know, all props to you. This game is it's okay. It's not what I really wanted it Sonic to be. I like the parkour elements, but they kind of got on my nerves at times too and how they work. Disappointing villains. It has a good soundtrack, but it's unfortunately not very memorable in my opinion. 
But uh, yeah, like, again, it's really disappointing, and I barely play this game. I only really go back to the levels that I like to play um, on my own time. Like, I usually play up the, the Dusty Ruins, skip it to the water grinding stage, and then I'll play the final boss, and that's it. So I don't really recommend Sonic Lost World get generations or colors. Then we have Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark. I despise Transformers Age of Extinction. I hate that movie. But I got the game for some reason, you know, thinking it's like, okay, is there going to be anything to enjoy out of the Transformers 4 in 2014? This game is, is pretty bad as well, <laughs> and it's really bad, like, it's, it doesn't stay, it's not consistent, it jumps all over the place, and the only good thing I have to say about this game is the song and when you boot up the game, that's saying something. <laughs> Then we have LEGO Jurassic World for the Wii U again. So uh, this game's pretty good. It's not my favorite LEGO game, but it's a pretty solid one. Again, I'm not really a big Jurassic Park fan. I mean, I like the movies, but I'm not like a huge watcher. Like, I absolutely love Jurassic Park. It's a good film, it's just not, it's not really a, something that I really want to see. Like, Jurassic World really didn't do anything for me. I really didn't care for that movie. First one's good, second one was all right, then no, not the third one. But uh, yeah, it's a good game though, I um, do recommend it, I just can't say much from Jurassic Park because I'm not really a huge fan of it, so yeah. Then we have the fairly recent game that I just got as well is Pokin Tournament, I got this game on Black Friday for $35, and uh, it's a pretty good game, Smash Brothers is better, duh, but um, in my opinion of course, it's just that there's not enough character, I know there's a lot of, there's a, they have like the main Pokemon, but I feel like there could still be more to this game, and I feel like $35 is a perfect price for this game, because I don't know, I don't feel like this game is worth $60 in my opinion, so I recommend this game, just wait for a price drop, or else you're a really big Tekken person, and you like play that game competitively, then yeah, get this game immediately, because it, it really does go faithful to the gameplay and Pokemon, so uh, if you're a Tekken player, get this game, but if you're not really a Tekken player, I never even really played a Tekken game, so it, it's an okay game, I guess, and um, I'm not really big on it, so yeah. Then we have the surprise, which is Splatoon. I'm, I, I got this game release day because uh, all the E3 footage I saw, I was loving it. I loved the E3. I was like, yes, I want this game right now. And then I got this game release day. I think I did an unboxing of the Pac-Man Amiibo. Yeah, go back to my channel, go to like 2015, May 29th, I think. I did an unboxing of the Pac-Man Amiibo. And uh, this is the same game, and yeah, you see me unbox it there, so it's pretty cool. So go back if you want to check that out. Love this game. Can't wait for Splatoon 2 for the Nintendo Switch. It's going to be awesome. And uh, yeah, recommend the first game as well, even though there's going to be another one. So yeah, get this game if you have a Wii U. They have the no-brainer, which is Mario Kart 8. Mario Kart 8 is also a great game. I like, I think this is probably my favorite Mario Kart game. Um, it's really good. The only thing I really don't like about this game is the items can get really, really annoying a lot of the times because they're just, the hitbox on them are huge. But overall, it's, it's a fun game. I didn't really feel the zero gravity mechanic that they were kind of pushing in the trailers so much. Like, I just kind of felt like my wheels just turned this way, and that's that's about, <laughs> that's about it. But again, this is a great Mario Kart, game, Mario Kart game, and do pick it up if you don't have, if you have a Wii U. I'm pretty sure if you have a Wii U, you probably have this game, because it's Mario Kart, come on. Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens for Nintendo Wii U, and the game is good. Just don't get it on the Wii U, because the Wii U version has a bunch of frame drops, a couple of glitches, and the graphics are nowhere near as good as an Xbox one or playstation so i recommend you get it on those systems but as a lego game it's really good you get to go to different planets from the force awakens like jakku uh that's the only one i can remember taco don is another one so yeah recommend the game just get it on a better console nintendo land is it's okay i mean it's really fun when you have a lot of people unlike mario party 10 because this is an actual good party game unlike mario party 10 and uh, the, the only problem is, again, with it, is they need a bunch of people that really enjoy it. But it has a really f lot of good I, Nintendo IPs that they kind of mix with the party game. And I do recommend it just with a bunch of people. And plus, I'm pretty sure if you got a Wii U, it, it came with this game. So I'm just saying. Then you have Batman Arkham Origins. And I barely touched this game. <laughs> I got this game for like $20 at Kohl's. And I mean, it's okay. It's not a bad game. I just haven't really had the time to play it. And I heard it's the worst Arkham game, because I can kind of see why, because I don't think that it's a bad game, it's just I'm not really determined to keep playing it. So yeah, it, I mean, it's fine, I guess. I don't really recommend it. Get Arkham Knight, City, or Asylum. Arkham Origins, though, whatever. 
Then we have Lego Marvel Avengers. Uh, this game is okay. It's not as good as Marvel. Marvel? Like Marvel Superheroes, there we go. The names are so similar, I mix them up in my head. But uh, the game is good, but I just recommend the, the, the one that came up before this one. We had the Avengers and the X-Men and Fantastic Four and stuff in it, but it's, it's not a bad game. Um, the only disappointing thing about this game is that it feels really similar to the first game and that's kind of loses creativity and it's wow factor for me. But you get to go to like Asgard and Sokovia and stuff like that, so I get it. Just, you know, just have it, I guess. Then we have my least favorite out of the Lego Batman series and Le Lego Batman Beyond Gotham. Lego Batman Beyond Gotham was a little disappointing for me and it wasn't due to the story or the characters, it was the hub worlds because the hub worlds were severely short, really small. They had the really it was really like like you're walking on a giant tennis ball that's what i felt and i mean the story is good it has good characters it's not a bad lego game it's just very disappointing when it comes to the open worlds for me and that really did it was like oh that's it really like i recommend it i guess but it's definitely my least favorite out of the, the lego batman series then we have super smash brothers for nintendo wii u you guys know this game is good i said this in my 3ds one the game is good, just get it. Like, you're missing out. My main is Falco, secondary is Fox, and my third is Cloud. It used to be Falcon, then Cloud was DLC. Get this game, it's amazing. Get it with a GameCube controller if you're into that. So, again, if you have a Wii U, this is a must own. Literally, I'm not joking, must own. Then this is the game I was talking about before with LEGO Avengers, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. It is one of my favorite LEGO games ever. It's probably up there with LEGO Star Wars because it has so many characters and an actual creative open world the first time around. And it's a great game, I really do recommend it. And it's, I love this game so much. Get it, just get it. Whatever console, just get it. And then for some reason I own Skylanders Swap Force. I have the portal and stuff like in the whatever that one room is. That red room that you saw in my Q&A 12. I mean, it's... I'm not really a Skylanders fan. It's kind of like repetitive to me and the jokes just can just... I hate the jokes in this game. I can't stand the jokes. But I mean, it's okay. If you're a Skylanders fan, you'll like it, but this is the only Skylanders game I own and it's okay. I mean, I don't care for it, so... If you're a Skylanders fan, you'll like it, but if you're just an average gamer like me, you won't really care for this game. I have some explaining to do with why this is so poorly, like, packaged. I was, I actually got this game in Oregon. I know I'm in Oregon now, but this one I still lived in Indiana. We flew to Oregon to visit my family and stuff, and my mom got me this game. And uh, during the flight, it was right next to some water, and it got severely damaged. It's really, it doesn't look bad on camera, but in hand, it's really, yeah, it's weird looking. And the game is good. Um, it's honestly one of the forgettable LEGO games, just like the movies, to be honest. Um, but it's, it's a good game, it's just a little forgettable, in my opinion, so yeah. Do get this game, though. It's just... You might like it more than me. I'm, I like Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, I'm just not a huge fan of the series like I am, like Jurassic Park. They're just kind of okay to me. They're watchable. Then we have Super Mario Maker. Uh, this game's fun, again. It's a good it's a good way to implement the gamepad for the Wii U, and this is a really, this is the reason why the, the gamepad exists is Mario Maker, because this game is really fun. I'm not really a big fan of creating my own levels, just because I'm not really all that creative, <laughs> honestly, I'm not gonna lie. But playing other people's levels is super duper fun, and I do highly recommend that part about the game. So, uh, yep, get this game. Highly recommend it if you have a Wii U. And yeah, it's a great game, get it. Then for the final Wii U game I own, that's LEGO Dimensions. This is my favorite, like, toys to life type of game because you can still really pretty much complete the game without getting much characters. You could do that with Disney Infinity and, like, um, Skylanders and stuff, but this game just feels right. Everything flows together. Only thing is, though, the character packs are expensive. Like, these, these things are really expensive, but I got, like, the Ninjago ones. I got a Portal one. You know, I got the stuff that I really wanted, so... I, I'm probably not going to be getting any more stuff for this game simply because I have other stuff to save up for that's way more important than this game. I'm sorry LEGO Dimensions, I love this game, but it's just not on the top of my head. But uh, yeah, get this game and also not the Wii version because it's a little buggy and drops frames a lot. So get it on a better console. But overall, it's just a good game, just get it a better console and if you want to pay over like $500 on the characters. You can do that. <laughs> there you go, guys. That is my Wii U collection. Look at this. Oh, it fell, but there you go. That <laughs> that is all my games for the Wii U. I have a bunch, I know. So thank you guys for watching. We are 
literally less than two weeks away from the Switch, and you guys are gonna be seeing an unboxing of me and my Switch, and hopefully I can do like a little setup video to show you how you can hook it up. It's pretty easy, from what, from what it looks like, it's pretty easy, but you know, you never know, so. Thank you guys for watching, please like, comment, and subscribe, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in a week and a half with the unboxing of the Nintendo Switch. Thank you guys for watching.